we've been trying to bring uh, hatchery techniques and innovative oyster culture techniques to the Chesapeake Bay. The crisis with the oyster fishery has, I think, driven home the idea that, well, we need to try something new and innovative. The base changed, and what we're trying to do is to use hatcheries to rebuild some oyster reefs. And the watermen, the, uh, the fisheries managers, the scientists, uh, even though we have had some disagreements over how things should be done, we've all realized that we're after the same goal, which is to try to get more oysters back out there. We've got a severe problem with our oyster population. But this, this has an excellent chance of surviving to grow up to be a, a, a three, four inch oyster. there is at least 250 oyster shells in one of these bags. They're about a third of a bushel each. What we're trying to do with the university, with the Department of Natural Resources, with a ton of volunteer groups, the Maryland Oyster Recovery Partnership, uh, is to produce more oysters, to do it better, to do it cheaper, to do it more efficiently, to get more oysters out there, not only for our fishery, but for the overall health and ecology of the Chesapeake Bay.